Hello friends, uh, my name is Tejan Rajangad. Here we are discussing about the uh, solution of PSB bra here. Uh, <clears throat> uh, here I am discussing the objective question of PSB bra from question 1 to question 10. If the response of this video is good, then I will um, coming with the second video as soon as possible uh, in few days. Now come to the solution of uh, objective question of PSB bra. First we take uh, first question of transformer here now first question two winding of a transformer are designed as a uh, first question is first option is primary and secondary winding second option is primary and high voltage winding c option is uh, secondary and low voltage winding and or primary and low voltage winding d option is high voltage winding and low voltage winding now come to the solution in solution the name of the transformer the name of the transformer the name of a transformer is that uh, uh, they suggest it transform the level it means it transform the level of voltage it transform the level of current so the option d is correct high voltage winding and low voltage winding it, it means it transform the level of voltage and also the current so the d option is correct now come to the second question in second question, two transformer A and B having identical rating are to be designed with flux density of 1.2 Tesla and 1.4 Tesla, Tesla respectively. The weight of a transformer A per kVA would be A option less than that of transformer B, B option more than that of transformer B, C option equal to that of transformer B and D may be less or more than that of transformer B depending upon other parameter. Now come to the solution. We all know the uh, phi plus phi equals to B A. Now EMF is E equals to root 2 pi F N phi where E is constant because of identical rating as mentioned in question. Now come to the flux equation that is B A A A equals to B B and A B. After putting the values of uh, density, we get the area of transformer A is greater than 16.6% of a transformer B. So, if it means the area of transformer A is higher than that of transformer TB, it means now area occupied is higher than weight is also higher over transformer. This, uh, so, the option uh, that the weight of transformer A per kVA would be more than that of transformer B. So the option B is correct. Now come to the third question. In third question, in a power transformer, core is made up of first option is cast iron, B is silicon steel, C is the ferrite, and D is powder alloy. <clears throat> now solution in solution in a transformer we use silicon steel because of silica it has the high resistivity so eddy current losses are reduced in a significant amount so the eddy current losses are inversely proportional to resistivity if the we introduce silica in a uh, power in a steel then the resistive low uh, eddy current losses are reduced because it uh, it is the inversely proportional to the eddy current losses this is the first reason to use the silicon steel and second reason with use of silica the permeability mu is increasing it means the permit it means ability to permit the magnetic lines in a core is increases due to the due to this overall performance of magnetic capability is increasing so if the magnetic capability is increasing, then the hysteresis loss is also reduced. So this is the second um, uh, reason to use silicon steel. So the B option is correct. Now come to the four option, four uh, question. In four question, consider the following statement: first, second, third, and fourth. These are first option. Uh, first uh, uh, statement is air core transformer are used in a gate rigging circuit of a thyristor second statement are core made of soft ferrite are used in a pulse transformer third or third statement is air core transformer are used in a radio device and fourth statement are core of a powdered 
alloy are used in isolation transformer now come to the uh, option uh, come to the option a b c and d which one is correct now come to the solution before going to uh, going to the solution we first know the ferrite what is ferrite ferrite are high resistivity resistivity material which are used in a high frequency of application when it is used at a low frequency then it is not a ferrite so these are used only electronic core application so the example of salt, uh, ferrite are mnzn ferrite that is soft ferrite so the second statement the core made of soft ferrite are used in a pulse transformer and pulse transformer is high frequency application so the second statement is correct now come to the third statement air core transformer cannot be saturated because of air so these are used at a high frequency application like radio frequency at the radio frequency range it cannot be saturated so the option statement third air core transformer are used in radio device that is also correct now come to the first option first statement air core transformer are used in a gate rigging circuit of a resistor for the gate rigging we use pulse transformer and per, in pulse transformer we use soft ferrite so the option uh, statement first is wrong so correct option are 2 and 3 which is b option now the b option is correct now come to the five number question in five question five number question for a given cross sectional area of a transformer core stepped core are used a to reduce the core losses b to provide mechanical strength of a core to the core and c option to reduce conductor material and therefore i square losses and d option to reduce magnetizing current now come to the solution a stepped core are used to reduce volume of a core in a limb so due to this copper used in a coil of a transformer is reduced if the volume of the cross section area of a limb is reduced then the coil of a transformer uh, transformer limb Uh, coil of a transformer limb also uh, there is a core copper uh, material copper conductor material used in a coil is also reduced so if the copper is reduced then the i square losses are also reduced and if the copper is reduced then the conductor material is also reduced so the option c is correct now come to the six number question in a single phase core trans transformer lv and hv winding are arranged is under option a r lv on a one limb one limb of a core and hv on other core limb and b option half lv near the core and half lv outside the hv on each limb c option lv and hv winding sections are sandwich d option half lv near the core and half hv outside the lv on each limb now come to the solution in solution lv winding must be at a near near the core and hv winding on the lv winding because because if we place hv winding near the core then the insulation required in between the hv winding and lv winding due to the potential difference is very very high and cost of the insulation is very high if we provide lv winding near the core then the insulation uh, due to the potential difference between the lv winding and near the core is required and potential difference between the lv winding and hv winding that is also reduced so the uh, so the insulation required in between the lv winding hv winding is also reduced so the both insulation between hv winding and lv winding lv winding and lv winding and core both insulation are reduced in this arrangement so the option d is correct now come to the question number 7 a a tran a 400 200, 200 volt 50 hertz transformer operate at a flux density of 1.2 tesla when energized from its hv side for this transformer linear dimension of a core are double while the number of turns are half on both 
its hv 